Hello again, and welcome to Starship Titanic Part 4. We got a lot done. I feel that this will not take as much space as Majora's Mask has. So in the last episode, we received a napkin, these two arms, and that key. We've also been able to turn on that weather system. So speaking about the weather, let's see if we can get us a lemon now. So click over in that direction, you will go in that direction. Right across the canal, that leads to the weather. We're going to adjust the weather and check out all four seasons. Now you can leave that in any weather you wish. Now when you click the gate, the viney gate will open, revealing you all of this wonderful things. So instead of grabbing one of these old, stale old lemons, what do you say we grow them from scratch? Let's change it to autumn. Hey, look at that. That looks familiar. So grab the extra long stick that you got from the uh, this Super Galactic Traveler classroom. Prod it a few times, it'll fall. Grab it when it does. Now switch it to winter. And now that we got winter, let's go over here now. Now you'll find that the area we once tried to get to is now accessible because of the ice. A mouth. And it's moving. Now, he's got two switches. You can change the songs. All it does is just go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. But hey, you know what? We can actually break the robot by putting one arm here and one arm here. The robot is now broken. So take the mouth into your inventory. Oh, that looks like Titania's mouth now. We broke the robot. No more opera singing for the robots. Go back in here. Now we can change winter into springtime. Watch out for the pollen. It's high this time of season. Hit this button again and make it summer all over again. And summer, look at those lemons. Bigger than before. Look at that one. So now let's take a big stick. It's this one here. And there's the lemon. Let's grab it. That's, no, that's the mouth. I want the stick. There we go. Now, let us leave this place. We got our lemon. We got the broken TV. The bartender provides the vodka. And what else do we need? So click over in that direction. He can't sing anymore. We broke the robot, remember. And all robots are connected to that one singing robot. But now there's no more music because we broke him. And we figure that if Craig can break a TV set, then we can break the opera singing robots that take you across the canal. So now that we got a mouth, we got the lemon, let's get some pureed starlings. How do we go about doing that, you say? Let's go to elevator one or two. Either one will do. Call the elevator. What do we call the elevator? We call him Nobby. Thank you for asking. Now let's go to floor 29. You're sphere of operation, sir. I only patrol between floors one and 27. You'll best be uh -huh. having a word on the QT with my colleagues. In the he doesn't go down to the, the lower levels. We gotta go to the other set of elevators. Elevator three, that looks good enough to me. See? He does go down to the lower levels. Hello, sir. Lovely day for going up and floor 29. We'll go. Basically, we're going back to the Super Galactic Traveler class level. I know we're first class and we're better than that. But we have a purpose Individual down here. Floor, sir. All right, come back to where you get the chicken. You will be able to 
Rabbit chicken. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Find where your glass is. There it is. Stick the glass down here. No, okay. You have to first apply the sauce. There's the pureed starling sauce. So what we need to do is put the chicken here, grab the glass quickly, and let it fill up with pureed starling. There you go. Now with this chicken. Well, we got a napkin here. So let's take the chip, chip put the napkin over the chicken because that grease just made all that sauce removed from the chicken. Now, this is very particular. You have to do it this way. Put mustard on it. Hot mustard. Because then it will not be appetizing to the succubus who gets to eat it. You need to transport this chicken to the parrot room. So now, stick the chicken into the little bin here. Go over here and put your chevron for the parrot lobby onto it. And now, go to your remote thing of me and hit send. Okay, here we go. He didn't like the taste of that. I hate chicken with sauce on. Okay, if I have to. Okay, so let's leave him to choke. Go to the top of the well. Top of the well it is. Now what that chicken is, is nobody likes chicken with sauce on it in this game. But in order to get the chicken to the parrot room, you have to first clean off the grease so the sauce will stick to it. You need the sauce so that it is less appetizing to the succubus. From here you can walk to your requested destination. But the parrot will not eat chicken with sauce on it either. But that's okay. Once we get to the parrot room, which is over here, we will now be... See? He made his way back home. That's a clever parrot. Now, talk to the succubus. There it is. There's your chicken. Now, we needed to do this in a quickly manner, too, because that chicken does get cold. Take your napkin. Wipe off the sauce so it is now a clean chicken. Take it over here to the parrot, because the parrot oh, loves chicken. Oh, what's that very faint aroma? I can just... Oh, chicken. It's chicken. Hold it to the far left of his cage, and when he starts to grab it... Let chicken, him have the chicken. chicken grab oh, that perch. Oh, oh, and that's not a perch at all. Oh, ineffable nosh! That is not a perch at all. Now you can open the cage, because now that you got his what he thought was his perch, you can put the real one back. Because we no longer need it. There it is. Okay, now, while we're here... You see that? Won't do you any good! Won't do me any good! Which is more to the point! No chickens in there! No pistachio nuts either! We what already gave you pistachio nuts. Chicken or pistachio nuts. What? Okay. Now we're going to need this because it looks like a nose. And that looks exactly like what Titania would wear on her nose. So how do you get this off? Or how do you get the nose to appear? Well, if there's a nose in there, we're going to find it and we're going to blow it out with this hose. Put one end of the hose to that structure here. Come over here to the succubus. You got the nozzle. Put the nozzle on Succubus himself. And you have now created... Alright, shut up, Parrot. Shut up. I need to explain something. Okay, basically what you have done was you have created a reverse vacuum. You've used the mechanism that sends the air or flowing of air out of the succubus, connected it to this hose, which runs down here, and up into this nose here, thus causing air to flow through the tube into this thing, which pushes the actual nose up and out, so we can take it, and that's what we've ended up with. So if we wanted to, just turn him off, 
you got the hose back, but you don't really need it anymore. And that's the secret to getting Titania's nose. And fortunately, she only has one nose. So let's put all those parts downstairs. So rather than finding all of this out on your own, I've done the liberty of explaining everything to you as we went along. See how convenient Let's Play guides are? They're better than guides that you used to read in a book. <clears throat> okay, so now, we have one eye, two ears, two of these units. We still need the nose, the mouth, and one more eye. Well, we have the nose right here. We have her mouth right here. And do we have everything? Oh, and yes, this blue thing. Well, this stick is blue, she's blue, where do we put it? It goes right up here in the top of her head. This is her intelligence tube, her intelligence core. This goes right up in here. Think of it as her brain stem. Maybe the obulangata. Oh, and we got this red thing. Let's stick that up there. Wouldn't it be funny if this was the actual combination? Well, now that we need the vision center, and the vision center is what's left in here, and we need the other eyeball, and then Titania will be complete. Now, we know where the vision center is. That's back at the bar. But do we have everything to make the Titanic titillator? We have the lemon. We have the starlings. We have the broken TV. Let's go to the bar. Open the door. Go through the stairwell. Go over to the Pellerator. Call up on the Pellerator. Zoom in on the control panel and select Bar. No stupid grinning, please. The Bar. Goodbye. The Bar is the only one you get to enter in the door opposite to where you came in. Everybody in the house, he has to turn around. Hey, Bob! Have you found Titania's vision brain. center yet? Got anything little bright, hey? Yeah, I found Titania's vision center. It's behind your shelf. And there it is right up there. But you still can't grab it because you have to give the bartender the ingredients to make a Titanic titillator. Let's start with the lemon. Ah, lemon. The cocktail garnish with a hint of lemon. Yes, it is a garnish, but there's more than just a hint of lemon in there. What's next? Crushed television. I see you're no slouch when it comes to casual violence. Well, you can thank Craig for that one. What else is next? The glass of Titanic, or I'm sorry, the glass of pureed starlings. What's this? Now you have to tell him what that is. Pureed starling. Fantastic. Well done. Because if you don't tell him that's pureed starling, he won't know what that was. And now is that all? Now we can tell him to get the vodka. Get the vodka. Spot on. Terrific! Wonderful! Fantastic! Amazing! You've got to be careful with this stuff. Potent. Very potent. Oh, wow. This is good stuff. Yes. We love it. Okay, we get the picture. Okay, after he has a conniption fit, you will see what he just said down here in your pet. And when you see that, then you can ask him for the vision center. That's when his high comes down. From there we go. Okay, now, type in, get the vision center. Center. 
right away. Isn't it nice you tell the characters what to do and they do it? Assuming that you can help them out first. There you are. Thank you. One vision center. Don't forget to thank him. No fighting now. No point in going to change my settings, I'm afraid. My circuitry has been somewhat corroded by the ingestion of my own noxious concoctions, so all I have now is this emergency backup personality. Happy days! Happy days! Basically what he's saying is no matter how many times you tweak his cell point settings, he's still gonna be this buzzed. Like he said, titanic titillators are very potent. The top of the well. You better believe it. Goodbye. Now, we need to find that last element to make Titania come to life. That is the other eye. You will find it. Guess where? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Not here. Let's go back to the parrot room one more time. Now what we need to do in here... Hey you! Sorry about your home! If you need somewhere to stay, I've got a lovely cage going cheap! Or it would be going cheap if it was a chicken! Ha! Oh, parrot human! Don't you just love it? Well you already ate your chicken, so I don't want to hear it. Channel 4 should have the chevron that we need. So make a note of that. But it is upside down. Notice that it is going inverted here so you have to pretty much write this out upside down or at the very least write it out as you see it here but then flip the paper upside down and fill in the, sh the chevron from there so I am going to go ahead and cut this part of the video out so that I may make note of the proper chevrons because I lost my previous notes therefore I will be making a separate note I have a 3x5 card that I've already started jotting down little squiggles to make sure a pen is fully working and operational. So, let's begin. You got the chevron, the first row, just make the squares. One, two, three, four, five. We need five going down. Doesn't have to be perfect, just draw five rectangles going in the same direction, that way, and that way. As long as they resemble As long as you can read it. Okay. Now the first one is not filled in. The second one is filled in. So is the third one. Fourth one not filled in. Let's go to the second row. Nothing is filled in there. Let's go to the third row. The first two are filled in. And so is the first one in the second section there, but the last one is not. Let's go to the next line. The first one and the last one are lit. And the first one in both columns are lit. So now we're going to turn the chevron upside down, and here's what we're going to do. We are going to make our own chevron. All you gotta do is to come over here. And here we go. Now as we turn this chevron upside down and turn our sheet upside down, the first one which we look at is this one really in reality, that one there. 
becomes this one here. So, off. Oh, shift. You have to hold down the shift key in order to edit it. So anyway, off, on, off, on. Second row, on, off, off, on. The next row, off, on, on, on. Now the next row, all of them off. And the last row, off, on, on, and off. And there you have the inverted version of what you see on the TV screen in a Chevron that is correct. So take it over here. And it's pointing you to first class floor seven, elevator two, room three. And it's the same in every game you play, that never changes. So if you want to save your notes, do so by writing down floor seven. This is room three. Elevator two. Floor seven, room three, elevator two. We got it, good. So let us take this chevron and take that elevator to get Titania's eye. Bye, Martin! Don't forget to write! Now, any of these elevators, we have to find elevator number two. Is this it? That's elevator four. We can't take that one. Elevator two, as you recall, is way over this way. This is elevator two. Call it. And let's head down to floor seven. Can't keep away, then. Floor seven, immediately. Here is your floor, sir. That didn't take long to get here. Now, you'll never go to the room you were assigned to. You'll always go to this room instead. Now, we are near looking for room three. One, two, and three. Nice and spacious. I like that. Now let's see if this is the correct room by going over here and highlighting that. Floor 7, Elevator 1. Oh, we're on the opposite end. My mistake. So we go through this door, through this door, and there you have it. There's one, there's two, here's three. No, I got that backwards. Room three is way over there. One, two, three. Now check to see if it matches your notes. You will see it on your current location. Make sure you have it on your designer room numbers part of your pet. And it will say, floor seven, room three, elevator two. This is the place. So go inside. This is where Titania's eyeball is located. You come up here, you turn around, and you push that one. It appears to be loose. But we can't drag and drop it. That's okay. Who are you gonna call? Someone else. Bellbot needed urgently. Summon Craig and he comes right up to you. Hi. And his cell How's points are looking beautiful. So now you tell Craig to get the broken light. Cool. No, fix broken light. That's one of Titania's eyes, all right. Yes, you have to tell him to fix it. You can't tell him to get it, because then he's not going to understand what, you're, what you mean. You have to tell him to fix it. And he did. As you can see. They glow in the dark. So now we have all of the components to make Titania run. Let's go back into the elevator, go back to the top of the well. Let's put her together, because I want to see the end of this, and I'm pretty sure you do too. And it's a very short game. It really is. Oh, present and correct, sir. Top of the well. Top of the well, sir. From here, you can walk to your requested destination. Thank you, Nobby. I'd be sure to do that. Down into the stairwell one more time to put together Titania's parts. Down through the elevator, down to the other side. This has been fun. Not as extenuating and, and and as long as Majora's Mask, that's for sure, because we're almost done with the game, if you can believe that one. 
It's a fun game. I like to play it from a lot. So let's take this, pop it right in there. Let's take the eye and pop it right in there. Do we have the proper combination? No, we do not. So this is wrong. Let's move green one there, red one down there. Let's have cool colors, warm colors. Is that right? No, it is not. Let's switch that with the blue one there. No, that's not right either. So let's put the warm colors up on top. No, that's not what I wanted. Hello? That's not what I wanted. Get back down there, you idiot. Okay, now let's put this down here, this one up here, blue one down at the bottom. Is that it? No, it's not. It's like a game of the price is right. You have to keep changing your answer before the time runs out, but... Hey, we got it right! It's yellow, red, blue, and green. I'd say it's been nice now, you... Only it hasn't! Remember the parrot? Remember the parrot? Remember the real McCall? Or the Duke? Or the Duke? What? And there you have it. Titania is now put together. And here she comes now. I'm terribly sorry about the parrot. No, really. I know how it must have been for you. Leo couldn't stand parrots either. Leovinus, that's who she's referring to. So typical of Leo. So clever, he could never see what was actually happening. Leo Everyone is the good guy of the other. Nobody likes a smart ass. See, that's the combination. He never saw how unfinished the ship was. That it was secretly being prepared for scuttling. Even I didn't realize till it was too late. And then they took my brain to pieces. Thank you for restoring it to me. My mind has been a bit of a blank, I'm afraid. And the ship has been wandering around in a dither. Leo has obviously been in a complete state. And probably jumped off the ship when you got onto it. I Poor old that. Nitwit. He's completely besotted with me. We should find him, I suppose. And you'll be wanting to get off home, of course. Whatever's left of it. So now that you put Titania back together, now you go into the opposite end of Titania so that you could actually see her rise. We're going right back here to where we could not go before, and into the captain's seat. Captain, welcome to your special transporter. Now you can't ride this until you put Titania together. Now come up here to the bow. Now come down here. Insert destination skyscape here. Remember that picture that uh, the door bot had you take? Stick it in that slot. Now, what we need to do is get you onto your remote thingamabubby and click on that helmet. The helmet goes onto your head. Now this needs a little explanation. Notice how weird the colors are. Well, this game originally came with a pair of 3D glasses, and that's why this helmet comes equipped with 3D glasses. So, keep your cursor around this, which is the circumference of the Earth. So, what we need to do is switch back to your picture. Now, this is a picture of your house, and what we need to do is we need to find three points which we can link together. Let's take these three stars. It can be any three stars. It can be that one, then switch back over here and find where that star is. Move the cursor until you come closer to the Earth. There, oops, there it is. Now, hit the L button. Okay, now you got it locked on. 
Where's the earth, you say? Where is it? Where did it go? Where's the earth? No matter. Make one over there. Now go back to this. You need to get your crosshairs close. Well, there we go. Now, when that's blinking, hit the L key again. Now, I don't know where the earth went to. It kind of disappeared, didn't it? That's okay. Now, go back to the picture. Let's click on that one. And now, line it up with... Well, if when you get it close, hit the L key. And there's the earth again. Now, set destination. <coughs> click on that helmet, and you can now go up here. The meaningless wheel spin. Aha! That's what happened. You're supposed to hit the third button, not the top button. And there you are. Good afternoon. My name is Leovanus. You probably know that. I'm sorry about what's happened to you. I'm even more sorry about what's happened to me. You have lost a house. I have lost a life and a dream. You may not care about my life and my dream. Well, I don't really care about your house. Building this ship was my dream, and now that dream is over. All I want is the love of a good woman, and also a fishing rod. Thank you for restoring Titania. I know she isn't real. Well, she's real, but she's not really real, if you see what I mean. So, to be honest, I'm more inclined to place long-term faith in the fishing rod. By the galactic laws of salvage, this ship is now yours. There is nothing like her in the universe. I wish you joy of her. I hope you manage to sort out the bomb. As for me, don't try to look for me. You won't find me. My life's work is done, and I've gone fishing. Goodbye. So long, Douglas Adams, and thanks for all the fish. And don't ever forget where your towel is. You are the man, Douglas Adams. This has been Let's Play Starship Titanic, and off you go, or is it off the ship goes, and you're stuck behind looking at what once your, was your house is now a complete shambles. This tale has come to an end. You fixed Starship Titanic, and now it is now the ship that cannot possibly go wrong again. You've won. Congratulations. The game is over. This has been Let's Play Starship Titanic. I am Ben Sonic Blue Darkfold. And tune in on our next series where I'll take you even further back in time. And I'll show you when in our next video. But now, let's enjoy the credits.
No starlings were harmed during the making of this game, you're telling me. They just got pureed and placed into a drink called Titanic Titillator. They were maimed. But that was Starship Titanic. And may this guide be very helpful in your pursuits in finishing Starship Titanic. I'm Sonic Blue Darkfold. Thanks for watching.